Reviewer, many, many means many things. Many historians claim in their own treatment of subject matter to be as little affected as any natural scientist by moral or aesthetic preconceptions. Okay, so if we have two commas, what can we do? We can ignore what's in between it, at least for a minute, as we read the sentences. So this is saying many historians claim to be as little affected as any natural scientist by moral or aesthetic preconceptions whenever mm -hmm. they're whenever they're talking about the treatment of their own subject matter. So they're saying, hey, we can be as unbiased as these people, as natural scientists, in our subject matter of, as a historian. But we clearly cannot accept those proclamations of objectivity mm -hmm. for it is easy to find instances of false historical explanations embodying the ideological and other prejudice of their authors. What does that mean? Yeah. Any, how would you, well, the first thing that I would do since this is the last sentence is we have the word for, which is synonymous with since and because. So we know that this is support. So our conclusion is going to be, we cannot clearly accept these proclamations. So the reviewer is saying we cannot accept these proclamations made by the historians because it's easy to find instances of false historical explanations that are embodying the ideology of other prejudice of their authors. So we're saying like, hey, we cannot be objective because we use resources or we use information from books that the author of that book that we're using was prejudiced. Oh, right. oh I made a flaw. Huh? I made an assumption in my head already. Oh, excellent. Okay. So, so we know that this, the re okay. So it does, sit, it's important to pay attention to the reviewer's reasoning, but yeah, it's a flaw question. So why does our support not add up to our conclusion? What was your prediction, Mel? Well, what if it's the goal of the historian to be objective? I don't think he took that into like to place. Like, what if the whole goal of the historian is to be objective versus being subjective? Like, I mean, because we could be because because he says like we can't accept these proclamations of, of object of objectivity for it's easy to find instances of false historical. But then my mind says, well, wh why not? If that's the goal, if that's the goal of the historian is to be objective and not to be subjective then well, why can't no, we accept these i don't think that's what they're saying i think they're saying uh, that i think you're like oh, that's kind of that because it's I, easy to find instances of falseness just that doesn't mean that it's not true well oh, okay that's okay let's answer mel's question first um it's the, he's saying that we the the reviewer is saying that we as reviewers or we as people cannot accept the proclamations made these proclamations of objectivity. So the what the reviewer is saying that the historians claim of their treatment of subject matter, this they are saying is objective. So that's, they're saying that we cannot accept these proclamations of, object, of objectivity of the historians. And so you're, right. saying, so were you trying to say, well, maybe they're being subjective rather than object? Did you mean to say subjective rather than objective? Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think you just switched to how you said it. But maybe I switched it. Yeah. Maybe I misheard. Okay. So you're saying, well, maybe you're saying that these statements are not objective statements; they're subjective statements. To the historian point of view, or okay. to the to the historian point of view. I get what you're saying, and maybe I get what you're saying. I. I want, I think that kind of goes back to, I'm like, well, if this is a premise, do we have to just accept it as true? Like, yeah, of course. I'm saying that these proclamations of activity, do we have to accept that this is, oh, but you're saying that that's not what they meant it as. So the historian is taking it as something that it's not. Oh, I like that. No, you're very, you're onto a good thing. Okay. So I had to talk myself into that one. Gotta have a class on how to like, <laughs> we need to have a class on how to like uh, translate these answer choices. Yeah. Well, There's I'm having a, no. I'm having a flaw class tomorrow about this. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> okay. So okay. Can now after having to translate Mel's reasoning in my head, I have to like <laughs> think about this. Okay. So we clearly cannot accept these proclamations, and we can't accept these claims made by the historians because 
we can find all these instances of the false historical explanations embodied. Okay. My flaw here is just because the historians are using something that is wrong doesn't mean that the historian themselves cannot be objective, right? It's not their fault that the information they're using is false. Based on right. the information- Dude, that's that, what I was, is that what, what I was saying? Oh, okay, I did not what? get there. Okay, what? based on the information- <laughs> they, okay, I'm sorry, I literally that, said that. Like, oh, you, I did, okay, I did, not, I did not understand. I did not take it that way. Okay, so based on the information they have, I think I got confused between you saying subjective and objective, and I was taking Sorry. it. I was taking it too literally. Um, no, I was saying just because like they're going to be, like in a sense, objectiveness doesn't mean that it's wrong. Like their objectiveness is not yeah, wrong. Right, their objectiveness isn't wrong. Just their what they're using, what they're being, just because what they're what they're potentially being objective of is wrong, but they're still right. being objective right. of it based on what they know, based on their perspective. Excellent. Right. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so let's go through these answer choices. <clears throat> A, takes for granted, so takes for granted that the model of objectivity offered by the natural sciences should apply in other fields. Do we take that for granted? Do we assume that? No. We talk about other fields either. <laughs> yeah, we what is other fields of other what does that mean? Does matter? How does that, nothing. B offers evidence that undermines or offers evidence that weakens the conclusion it reaches. Do we offer evidence that weakens our conclusion? No, no. we actually strengthen it. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to. C fails to recognize that many historians employ methodologies that are intended to uncover and compensate for prejudice. Do we fail to consider this? No. No, that's no. no. And even if that were true, what methodologies? What methodologies? <laughs> but, but, even that, but even, but even if this were true, and we do have all these people that do this, that doesn't mean that they're right. Right. And that'd be like saying, like, what if they were, like, what if they really were wrong? Like these histor like these methodologies were really wrong, and we did have all these people trying to uncover prejudice just because we have a bunch of people trying to uncover it does that mean that it's not wrong like maybe they all literally just missed it mm -hmm. excellent and then d takes for granted that some so it takes for granted that at least one historical work that embodies prejudice is written by historians who purport to be objective that's literally what we predicted yeah, yeah that's what i was saying yeah so think that <laughs> some of the work yeah. that has prejudice in it is written by someone who tried to at least be objective. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. E fails to recognize that not all historical explanations and body ideologies are false. No, I think that we are totally cool with some of them being false. Right. Awesome, so our answer is going to be D. Mm -hmm. 